Excuse me. That oh, wait, boy. I, I... I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James De Santa. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. The house is on um, uh, Hampstead uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Huh? Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? I got you. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in uh, law school, huh? So, Mr. Kenneth, were we at uh, financing? Clarity. Life Invader CEO Jay Norris hey, hey. will unveil the product himself on live television. Since 1975, the brutal murder and dismemberment of starlet Leonore Johnson has remained unsolved and captivated hey, conspiracy theorists. Now, Ira Richards, vice president of marketing at Richards Majestic and grandson of movie mogul David Richards, told a reporter that his grandfather claimed to have destroyed a confession letter in the weeks before his death. Mr. Richards Sr. passed away last year. Hey, did you change your mind? When I discover that you betray me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, man, me and Lamar was gonna get that back to you, dog. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief. And you just turned this into a bus! on harassing celebrities to the brink of death? Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. You have a massive keeper, bitch! Fucking homo, you're dead! Dead! He said I had a massive! Jimmy called me a bitch! Oh my god, seriously? My brother is such a homo. You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta. A real pro. Well, you're a great student. Now just loosen up those hips. Okay, like this? Yeah, loosen them up. There you go. And follow through. Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Uh, well, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. The guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely. The sitter and my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, I guess you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dog, by the name of Simeon Yateri. So this businessman, 
He look legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. Hey, man, it's Jess up here. Okay, stop the car. Pull up. That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Boom. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck it. Hey, I still got this gun here. Mr. Samuel, it's not exactly how it looks. <laughs> I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! Simeon Yaterian doesn't back down from anybody. No way. You think you could take me for a ride? Crazy man! Bottom feeder! You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'll tell you something. This thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. He agreed to financing I have his signature. Yeah. Did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh... That kid might be a fucking idiot. But you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Ugh. Don't make me have to come back here. <laughs> 